hey guys long time no talk to i know it has been a few months since i posted on here but i really wanted to do a update video before i posted the vlog that i'm filming this week and i got some new glossy products and what a better place to try them out is with you lovely people so i'm gonna put some stuff on my face let you know what i've been up to and i am very excited but i'm gonna start by clipping my hair back but first off i'm going to put on some glossy future dew i only do like not even a full pump of this and rub it in all right now that that is good i am going to jump into using my la pro conceal and the color chestnut So while I let this sit, let me just tell you what I've been up to. Hold on, one second. All right, so while I let that sit, let me just tell you what I've been up to. And I think the last video I filmed, I kind of show you guys my new position and the role that I got at the company that I work at. Um, before that, I was a receptionist and now I'm basically just a pro project coordinator. So I've really been enjoying my new role. Back in October, we had to go into the office for a little bit, safe of course, and kind of just work on some issues that we had. It was a lot easier for everyone to come together and work. So I really enjoyed getting out of the house to go do that. It kind of felt like normal, getting out, driving to work, you know, just a normal day, but of course, it's not normal when you have to wear a mask everywhere. But other than that, I have just mostly just been at home working. Um, it's really hard to want to film a video when you're not doing anything. Like, I have a day job. YouTube is something that I kind of do for fun right now. So I don't really have anything to film to show what I'm doing because I'm literally not doing anything. I'm in the house, I am scrolling TikTok for way too many hours, and I, I didn't have the energy to film videos. And it's hard to edit a video when you're not that interested in it. Like, it's really hard to do. Like, how am I supposed to be able to work on this video repeatedly for hours and listening to myself talk if I'm not interested? Let's move on and do some eye stuff. I'm gonna take the Glossier Sky Wash. This is the color Terra. I did a video on these, on the colors that I got before. I'll link them up here so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to want to film a video and do something cool when you're not really motivated. But I'm determined to get back on the grind. My goal this year was to get 100 subscribers, and I have 81. There's 81 of you lovely people watching my videos. Mind you, some of them are friends and family. And shout out to y'all for <laughs> watching my videos. But nonetheless, that's still 81 people. And I'm so close that I would be crazy not to even try. I'm not sure if I'll get to 100 before the end of the year. But I mean, it's definitely worth the shot. And even if I don't, at least getting back into the flow of editing a video and getting in the flow of that will be just really nice. I really want to do that because this is something that I enjoy doing. Like I did a whole like why I wanted to be on YouTube video and I got to stick to that. Something that I have been doing recently is I started working seasonal at my old job before I started at my company that I'm at now. I decided to do it to be able to get out of the house and make some extra money, of course. It's been really nice to just reconnect with people that I haven't seen since January. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Echo and the Glossier Sky Wash, just at the ends, just to add some more color. Hopefully I don't look crazy at the end of this. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. I'm honestly just trying to survive like everyone else. And next I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso just to add some more depth to it. This is a darker, 
our darker brown than Echo from Glossier. And I'm just going to take a little brush and blend it in. Next, I'm going to go in with another Pro Conceal and the color Toffee. Kind of to just brighten under my eyes a bit more. And to clean up where the eyeshadow is. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with Glossier Boy Brow. What a surprise. I have the color brown, but I'm just gonna take this bad boy and comb my front brows up and then kind of go at the end and back home. Just so the back of my brows can get that product too and make it look a lot more fuller. And then I just comb their brows in the direction that I want to go. Alright, these are my brows with just the boy brow. I think I'm going to go in with a pencil. I have this Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. And with this, I'm just going to like kind of make fill in like the sparser areas. Usually that is at the end of my brows and like a little bit right before my arch. And now I'm just going to comb them through. And those are my brows. Now besides scrolling TikTok and working both of my jobs the only other thing that i really have been doing is basically just trying to figure out where i fit in this world and just trying to figure out what my purpose is sometimes i wonder if i should pursue youtube and make it something more than just a hobby but then sometimes I wonder if I should just stick with my current job or try and find something in my field that I went to school for. But trying to stay where I am on this path or even trying to do something that I went to school for, and none of that feels right. And with YouTube, it does feel right when I'm filming this video I'm in the moment and like this is all I'm focused on but the self-doubt comes when I'm not filming anything and I'm on social media social media would be the death of literally everyone and I'm on social media and I start seeing everyone that I follow and it's nothing on these people I actually love everyone that I follow they never make me feel bad about myself or anything like that it's just like I wonder like Will I ever get to where they are? Am I too old to be pursuing this? I'm only 26. And I feel like maybe I missed my prime to do this. But I'm just like, that's crazy. If it's something that I want to do, I should do it. If I feel like this is the right path for me, that I should do it. And what's meant for me will be for me. So if it's even if this is just a hobby that is something that I have fun with, that's great. I should have something fun and creative to do. So I have to like stop comparing myself to people who have put in the time and the work to make this in social media their full time career. Like I can't compare myself to someone who've put in the work and the hours and the time to get where they are when I'm just starting out. And sometimes it's hard to think that way when you're just like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe this isn't for me. Like, I need to stop that because I haven't given it a shot. I haven't been super consistent. And I won't know if this is, isn't, I won't know if this is or isn't for me unless I, I give it my all. All right, before I keep talking, let's go in with the Night Shine from Glossier. Here it is. It's a beautiful the beautiful color. Ooh. That's just three dots. Let's blend that out with my finger and see how it looks. Ooh. 
Oh boy, that's beautiful. But at the end of the day, the position that I have now is not something that I want to do forever. This is what I want to do forever. And I have to get out of this rut, literally wasting my days and put my time and energy into what I say my passion is. Like there's, that's the only solution. This is the Cloud Paint and Eve. And I laid it on a little too thick. But it is such a pretty, such a pretty color. Put some on my nose. I swear blush on this camera always looks worse. Let's go in with this Sephora powder. I really need to get a new powder. I've had this for way too long. And I like to put my blush on before my powder in case I go a little bit too heavy. And I definitely went too heavy this time. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more highlighter and this time I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 2. I'm gonna take my fan brush and sweep this across. And last thing that I'm gonna do is put some mascara on. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Waterproof and then Lash Lake by Glossier. And now lash like. I'm going to uh, finally put something on my ashy lips and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. And I can't forget, most important step, a little bit of highlight above the lip. Gives you a little sweat mustache. Um, before I go, I'm going to put a little setting spray on my foundation powder brush and blend it in. But this is the final look. I'm glad it came out actually really cute. Really enjoyed sitting here watching me put stuff on my face. It has it felt really nice and fun to film this video. Feels like when I first started. I hope this is a good start back. I really want to make this more than just a hobby and grow my little slice of the internet because I've missed y'all. But I don't know, 2021 and I'm ready for you. 2021 is gonna be everyone's year. We're all gonna get our life together. We're gonna find where we're supposed to be and just, just live the life that we have always imagined. I'm manifesting it for all of us, whoever watches this video, it's gonna be great because I think we all do need it. But I'm rambling, I'm rambling. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for being here and supporting my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.